Hello everyone, I'm Neeraj Podar, Head of Engineering at Sora Bio. I've been a long time maintainer and contributor to the STU project, former steering committee member and currently on the STU Technical Oversight Committee. So today I'm going to talk about what happens or what to expect when you install different STU revisions in different namespaces. So this is something that often comes up when I talk to customers who are using a revision or canary-based upgrades and they, they think intuitively that installing the newer version of Istio in a different namespace is better for isolation. While that might be true in practice, uh, Istio doesn't even support that model. And actually, when you try to deploy it, you run into a lot of issues. So today, what I'm going to do is just explain to you some of the inner workings of Istio while trying to install Istio in uh, or different versions of Istio in different namespaces. So I just want to make sure a few things are clear to you. First, this is not recommended for production. Second, uh, Istio by default is now supporting Helm and Istio CTL based install. Uh, and in fact, these modes of installation, when you try to install Istio in two different namespaces, they will not work because they'll start to conflict and they will have resources that are already existing and they'll fail earlier in the process. The third mode of installation is Istio operator, which allows you to install actually different versions of Istio in different namespaces, but that is now discouraged in the community even though it is beta, we are recommending users to actually use Helm and Istio CTL. But for this exercise, since the operator based installation supports this model, I'm going to do it for demo purposes and show to you what complications or what failures might run into. In hopes, if you're trying this, you at least understand the inner workings and the reasoning behind uh, what we are doing and how you can debug it. So let's get started. So let me share my screen. Let's see. <clears throat> all right so first of all i'm gonna create the istio operator namespace and and then use the helm based method to install the istio operator so here you go i created the istio operator namespace now i'm gonna use helm to install it. So in this step, the key thing to note here is I'm giving the set watched namespaces variable and uh, passing two arguments, Istio system and test system. These are the two namespaces in which I'll be installing Istio. And you have to make sure Istio operator is watching them so that when you install the Istio CR, it can create the corresponding Istio control plane resources. So now the next step is I'm just going to create these namespaces, uh, Istio system namespace, and then the test system namespace. So, so far, pretty standard stuff. Now, I have two Istio operator specs that I have created. So, I'm going to just show you what they look like. So, first one is very, very simple. So, it is called Istio Pro. It is installing a minimal profile as we are not concerned about installing gateways. And then the revision is set to Pro. I have a second Istio operator spec, which is called Istio Test, in which case, it's installing it in the test system namespace instead of the system namespace. And the profile is again minimal. The revision is set to test. And then we have to set the values global Istio namespaces as test system so that all the Istio resources end up in that spot. So, with that setup, let me apply these YAMLs. So, first step is applying the Istio prod YAML. So, this has created the Istio operator spec. So now if I go to the Istio system, hopefully the controller has clicked in and it is uh, going to start creating the Istio system, the Istio D uh, pod. So here you go. So it's creating the Istio D pod and now it's up and running. Cool. So I'm going to do the same thing with the Istio test YAML. And then we are going to just test it to make sure this is up and running. <clears throat> there you go. So it just takes like a few seconds for the controller to pick it up. Okay. So now we have two Istio D running in Istio system and test system namespace like we want. Okay. So now, sorry about that. What we want to do is label our namespace and install an application to see what will happen. So I'm going to just label the default namespace with Istio IO rev as prod. Let's 
see. And then I'm gonna apply the sleep container in the default namespace. So basically I'm just trying to create a application in which I can inject the sidecar and see if it comes up and how it is gonna interact with the two Istio these deployed in different namespaces. So there you go. So I have created the sleep container. And if I look at it now, it's up and running. So, so far so good, right? So this is what you will expect, right? Idly, this namespace is marked with the label uh, Istio IO rev prod. So the prod Istio system should be involved here, which is the prod STUD should be monitoring that namespace and it should be injecting the sidecar and it should all come from the Istio system namespace, right? So let's do a quick experiment. Let's try to delete this and see what happens. So basically, I'm just going to delete this pod, right? And hopefully it will come back up, right? I'm just trying to see if I can delete this few times after it comes back reliably up. Okay. Okay, so in this case, it's not coming up actually. So it is just one out of two. So that means the proxy that is injected as a sidecar is not coming up. So if you look at the logs now, it should give you a better picture of what's happening. Okay, so if you see this is failing around some CA request. So basically, it is trying to contact Istio. It is trying to get the root CA for Istio D, and there is a mismatch or something, and that feels like a transient error. What I mean by that is, if I go and delete it again, it actually might come back up. Okay. So if I delete it again. So this time it's still stuck. It is still failing for the same reason. Let me kick it again. So actually, if you just do it a few times, you will see sometimes it comes up and sometimes it doesn't. When it doesn't come up, it doesn't come up for the same reason around the workload CAs and it's getting stuck trying to get the certificate from std let's see okay so now for the few times okay there you go so this time it came up so this is basically telling us there's some transient issue that is happening in the background so let's understand what happens under the hood right so if you look at this operator in this pod in which we have injected the sidecar inject in, in which we have injected the proxy so you will see there are two containers, right? The first one is the sleep, that is our application container. The second one is a proxy container. The interesting thing that I want to show you here is one of the volumes that we attach. And okay, so if you see, we are creating a volume mount from the Istio CA root sir, and this volume yeah so this volume is mounted inside the container in var run secrets istio so let's look at what is inside this config map so this config map i'm gonna use some big commands here basically it's going to get the config map and i'm going to parse the field data root set.pm and then pass it to open as a cell <clears throat> so this config map is created by istio d in every namespace that it is watching and this contains the root certificate that is used by its istio d so remember in our case there are two istio d's and both of them are bootstrapping and creating their own root CAs. That means there are two sets of uh, controllers or the two sets of Istio control planes that are trying to take control of the same secret. 
in fact if we go and watch we will see that this particular uh, secret or this particular config map is constantly getting updated so let's look at this command again so in this case i'm going to just do an open ssl md5 and get just the modulus so it's easy to track so if i do this few times you will see that once it's coming at fd23 the other times at 6cc that means this itself is flip-flopping and this value maps to the secret created by istio d in either the istio system namespace you see or it is mapped to the secret created by istio d in the test system namespace there you go and the reason it works or it doesn't work is depending on the value in this config map when the new pod comes up if it matches the value of the ca in the istio system namespace this works or if it gets unlucky and it has the value uh, from the test system, the, the, there's a mismatch in the CA and then it won't work, right? So that's why in production, it is always recommended to install multiple revisions of Istio in the same namespace, preferably in Istio system. And more than that, uh, if you want to still continue on this path of multiple uh, installations, you should always give it uh, root CA. So you have to plug in your CA rather than let Istio D create its own CA cert. When it's creating its own CA cert, they both will create different CA certs and then they will try to fight each other in updating the config map in every namespace where the applications will be injected with sidecar and they will have different values and sometimes the application will come up and sometimes not. So hopefully this was useful. This is a very simple thing I want to talk about. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm available on Istio Slack or you can reach me on Twitter at NRJ Paddar. Thank you.